hello and surprise surprise it's saturday night and here i am live the hemingway jones live fountain pen show who would have thunk it but here we are the incredible community of the hemingway jones pen show all live all together on a very special night already see a lot of likes thank you very much any kind of likes you can give this i'd appreciate it just to sort of upvote it in the uh youtube algorithm which can be a little brutal when you go out of form and launch a live as we have done on a different night so very nice to see you all wow ode from lisbon portugal it's two o'clock in the morning for you my friend Thank you so much for being here. I see a lot of the other usual suspects. So what is this in case you're stumbling upon this live show of mine on this Saturday night and we haven't met before? So this is our little corner of the internet where we talk about fountain pens, inks, journals and journaling and everything and anything that's going to keep you inspired. The point the drive of this channel is inspiration so welcome now tuesday night we're going to have vincenzo on from fountain pen therapy i'll begin with a few remarks and then we're going to spend most of the hour with vincenzo so i just thought it'd be great if i popped on saturday night and opened up this incredible package and i'm not going to kind of do my usual postponing and stretching it out. I think tonight we're going to get right to it. We're going to um, get into what we're supposed to do for a change instead of drawing it out. Hi, Daily Charm Addict. I see a lot of the usual suspects. I'm super happy to see you all here. Antoinette's a little confused. What's going on? Why? Why? Maybe it is Tuesday night. Maybe I'm coming to you from an alternate universe. You know, ever since they threw that switch at CERN, anything can happen. The multiverse is busted wide open. So a lot of things could happen. Oh, I see Kaylee is here too. Very good. I am usually home on a Saturday night. My daughter's in bed now. So this is sometime when I am home. So here we have it. Okay, so we'll go into the second camera so you can see. I have this lovely box from Yoast over at Apple Bloom. Very, very lovely of him. And I'll tell you the story behind it. I had heard that the Kaveco Piston Fill Sport was coming out. And I was super excited. Wanted to get my hands on one. Thought it'd be great for the channel. And I reached out to Yoast and I said, Hey, can you send one of those? And he was kind enough to send it gratis so kind enough to send it as a gift to the channel and when it arrived it's it's it has friends there are friends this is more than just a pen i don't know exactly what's in here i'm super excited i unwrapped it to the point i'll show you what i did i got the box i took it out of the box and i opened it like this saw there was a very cool thank you apple boom with a mont blanc on there looks like a 146 calligraphy very cool pen and then i saw this so these this is presents guys these are presents when it's wrapped like this and i just thought it'd be super fun if i'm going to unwrap presents i'm gonna do it in front of all of you so thank you from apple boom well Yost, I want to thank you. Thank you for sending this. Very kind of you. I'm sure it's going to make a very big impact on the channel. It's lovely to see people here. That Simply Obs is here, who I just wrote a letter to. Obs, you'll see a letter from me coming in a few days. So very good. Love to see all of you guys. Thanks for all the likes. I appreciate the like button being hit because we're at a weird time and I want to make sure people get to see this. So I'm going to push this a little bit out of frame, just a little bit up here. And I'm going to take out our first item. Now this looks like ink to me. It sure feels like ink, but isn't this fun? It's like Christmas. I'm excited, super excited. What do we, oh wow, look at this. 
This is cool. Elder Graph Blue. You know why this is cool, guys? I've never used this before. I've heard of it. I've never seen it. I'm going to use my trusty knife to open it. I like this Hele knife. Beautiful leather sheath. I think it's a walnut or burl handle. I forget. I should look up the stats. I'm sure I knew it when I purchased this. I like this knife quite a bit. It's basically, for me, a glorified package opener and letter opener. But boy, is it beautiful. Yes. So anyway, I always put it into my inks like this. And then I just kind of do that. Which, for me, is a lot better than wrestling it open and tearing it up and i don't know if you know this about me but i don't like to have any white on my fingernails so i'm always clipping my nails you see that and i use this clipper i'm going to do an edc video very soon and you may have seen this on the channel before but i love these i can't remember if this is swiss army or vitorinox but i love it, it looks like swiss army so it flips around and it's super sharp and you can trim your nails. You could throw it on a keychain because it's very flat. I keep this in my bag. So anyway, little rabbit hole there. But let's take a look at this ink. Ooh, I like the basic packaging. I really do. I think this is really, really pretty. Ooh, did you see that? Did you guys see that flash of blue in there? It was almost like um, something out of... A science fiction movie or something like we discovered some new element oh I wish I could do it again the light hit it perfectly if you're watching this in the replay go back about 10 seconds you'll see a really intense flash of blue okay I'm using this again to loosen up this tape I want to take a look hope you don't mind black tape very cool uh, I don't think I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to put that on the packaging. Let's have a look. By the way, too, I usually wear my Rolex when I do my lives, but I'm kind of relaxed. So I have my Cartier on tonight. Cartier Must XL Tank. Love this thing. Automatic movement gear shade dial. I'm, I'm down a lot of different rabbit holes. You have to forgive me. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty, huh? Wow. Oh, this is, this is nice. I have no idea what effect this ink is going to have on the channel. But I think it's going to be positive. It looks like it lives in the same neighborhood as uh, J. Urban Eclat de Sapphire. So we'll see. It's a good blue. I'm excited. Okay. What do you guys think so far? Is this fun? Um, Kirk Geisinger makes an interesting comment. I'm going to highlight this. I like the old bottles that say writing fluid, right? Me too. Me too. Oh, looks like we have something else from the same brand. Ooh, blue black. Wow, this is really nice, huh, guys? Blue black. Let's do the same. I'm going to leverage it open, try to keep it pretty. It, another reason I try to keep it pretty is that I might film with the box. And sometimes my boxes get a little beat up, but I do want to keep them kind of pretty for filming. Um, blue black. This is exciting. Ooh, like it. I like how basic it is. I, I know nothing about this company. This could be artisanal. I'm pretty excited. I'll, I'll have to do research after the fact. Because I didn't know what was in here, guys. I had no idea. It's very nice of Yost to send this. Lovely, lovely guy. By the way, I should also say part of the reason why we're doing this is that in my world, things don't really happen unless you film them. You have to film it for it to be true in a YouTuber's world. Ooh, that's really nice. Really deep. Yeah, that's interesting. I almost want to swatch it, but I don't want you guys to have to sit through that while I do my whole process because there's a few more things in here. I thought it would be fun to go through them. Pretty, pretty package. I like the name Elder Graph too because I like Elder Flower and Elder Graph is a very cool name. So, very cool. 
Okay. Now we have this. I, I kind of want to save the main event. I'm not sure which one is the main event. Okay, this is important. You know, he always includes Stroopwafel, too. These are yummy. I love these. I They have these at the farm stand near me, and I often buy them in a box. Or not a box, in a bag. I quite like them. Uh, when Yost met my daughter at the Commonwealth Pen Show, he gave her some of these, which she quite liked. And she shared them with me because she's a good egg. So these are nice. I love these personal touches. Yost is a class act. I'm going to hold off on this because I see more inks. I'm starting to sense a theme. Ooh. Magenta. Magenta. Do you guys know what I think about when I hear the name Magenta? I think of one of my favorite characters from Rocky Horror Picture Show, Magenta. I loved her hair and her crazy makeup. And, of course, she had a great voice. I'm a huge Rocky Horror fan. Going way back. Ooh, do you see that? Look at that. It's like some kind of a... Some kind of a cure or something, or some kind of elixir. Like something uh, out of a science fiction movie. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. So, anybody else into Rocky Horror? Love Rocky Horror. Amazing how good the songs from Rocky Horror are. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This is a very, a very red shade. Magenta. Love it. Interesting to see how this is. Interesting. Very, very pretty. Love it. Okay. Ruby, someone said. It is a very ruby. It's, it's like um, a pigeon blood ruby. I see OBS is into Rocky Horror. Very cool. I like to see that. William Catalano said, Is this ink from Lithuania? I do not know. I, I didn't know this was in here, so I couldn't do any advanced research. But we will find out. All right, I see another ink. Might as well get the inks done, right? This is fun, isn't it? It's like Christmas. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Can you get enough black ink, guys? Black. Narrow. Incuriostra. Okay. Hopefully we won't cut ourselves before the night is out. Ooh. I like it. I love these basic bottles. Plus, it's going to be super easy to fill. Nice, stable bottom. I don't like gimmicky ink bottles. You, you know, I'm going to say something controversial again. Do you guys mind? You know how I get controversial sometimes. Have you seen these alchemy inks that are out? And they look like really nice inks. and have really pretty packaging. But the bottle has this little nub at the bottom and it's supposed to be so you can tip it sideways and fill it up. Oh my, I can't, I can't be bothered with that. And it comes with a base, a cork base, and you put it in there if you want it flat. Like, what are they thinking? I guess that's fun. It's not fun for me. That kind of, to quote the immortal words of Paul Simon, I don't find this stuff amusing anymore. I just don't. I just want, I just want a bottle of ink. That's all. A nice, basic bottle. Easy to fill. When I get to the bottom and I, my nib doesn't fit anymore, I'll use my syringe. But what I don't want is a weeble. Do you remember weebles? They wobbled, but they didn't fall down. They were weighted in such a way. They were egg-shaped. It kind of reminds me of that, but that bottle looks like it, it actually could fall down. I, I, it violates my sense of order. I'm not a fan. Might be the greatest ink in the world. I don't own it. I don't have it. From what I understand, it's sold out everywhere. 
So my opinion obviously is the minority opinion, but if you're a fan of this channel, you probably know that my opinion is often the minority opinion because I don't follow trends. I am a dedicated, fierce, individualist and individual thinker. I don't base my opinions on what everybody else thinks. And I look at that and it just looks like rubbish to me. It just does. I would decant it immediately if it were me. All right, back to the show. Maybe you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's talk about ink that does look really nice. Elder Graph Black. Ooh. Easy. Ooh. Oh, I love when they sort of gasp, when they sort of aspirate when you uh, open them. Look at that. Shiny. Shiny black. I like it. I like it, guys. I can't wait to use it. Can't wait. So I have really nice colors here. I'm going to show them all. Let me use this as a prop so you can see them properly. We have black. We have blue-black. We have blue. And we have magenta. Magenta. It's a good collection. That was very kind of him to send all these. Plus, it's neat to get a full expression of an ink brand and not just a symbol one. So, very cool. I am excited. Excited for these. Okay. Set these aside. We're going to open up some pens in a minute. But first, we're going to have a little iced tea. <laughs> we were drinking Prosecco earlier. What's your drink of choice? Spagliato with Prosecco in it. Actually, not that, but we were drinking Prosecco, my wife and I. And then I switched to iced tea and I just put it in the same glass because I'm I'm just basic like that. It's good though. Okay. Super excited. Look at quite a few of you are here tonight. Thank you so much for showing up. I really appreciate it. And thanks for all the likes. This is fun. I think we will do some more of this. I noticed that quite a few of you got into the three ink video that I just put out. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I thought it was a really interesting conceit to say, okay, I have to throw away all my inks, which by the way, I now have four more. So, you know, that's how it goes. It, they propagate. But imagine stripping away your entire collection down to three. Three. How do you live? How do you live? How do you choose? It's such a tough choice. You have to weigh things. You have to give things up. It's probably a little easier with five, but I wanted to make it really tough. And I do have three go-to inks. But you know what? My tastes change and they evolve. And it's possible that maybe this is my new black now. Well, it, it could knock my socks off. It could become my new black. You never know. Maybe this is a good replacement for a clay de sapphire. You know, it could happen. You never know. I've noticed that my love of thicker pens has shifted more towards the elegant pens. Yet, I do reach often for a 149, especially my new one. So you never, never know. But the three ink video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's my latest release. I think it's a lot of fun. So check it out. Okay. Let's open a pen. This feels like a pen. I kind of hope it's not the main pen, but if it is, we'll just, we'll just go with it. Always cut away from yourselves. That's not a very nice noise. <laughs> Some of this ASMR is really nice. That that was not. Okay. Yeah, I thought. There we go. 
This is a nice noise. Oh, guys, look at what we have here. Lamy, oh boy. This is like Christmas morning. Christmas morning. By the way, is there a better pen to put in your stocking than a Lamy? This beautiful packaging and everything, come on. So great. This is so great. Which ones are these? They they look too shiny to be safaris, but this is safari packaging. What what do we have here? Ooh, this is not plastic, guys. This is aluminum. Very very nice. Aquatic in a medium. Oh yes. Oh yes. Wow. Beautiful. Look at the look at the grip on that. Wow, is that beautiful. Look at the grip. That is exciting. What a beautiful pen. I cannot wait. Now the only question, do I use the cartridge or do I get a converter for it? I also love how smart they are. I love German engineering. I love that they put this sort of inhibitor here. And you just simply take that off. I'm sure you guys know this, but I'm saying this for the folks that might be watching that don't own a Safari or don't know this. So you take that off, and then if you put this together, it forces the cartridge into the feed, and you're ready to write. Once it works its way through, through capillary action. Look at that. You get the nice ergonomic grip, which I like. But I do kind of wish it was cylindrical. But I, I do like it. I, I use a lot. I love the Vista. I love the Safari. So I'm good with this grip. You can post this one without any kind of... Um... Wow, this one kind of clicks. Wow. I, I've never owned one of these, by the way. I've only had Safaris and a Vista, which is basically a Safari. I've never owned it in the aluminium. This is really exciting. And I like the black clip. This is really exciting. Thank you, Yoast. This is beautiful. And look at the look at the camera just loves this pen. Look at this color. Mmm. Beautiful. Shane says he'd like to see a pen made entirely with the color. Like a Vista, right? Like a kind of a translucent blue safari. That would be cool. What, what color is this, would you say? Like a royal blue? It's very jewel-like. But I really like this aquatic. This is exciting, guys. I could stop here and be happy. It was very nice. Kaylee prefers this one over the Safari. I could see why. This feels more, more luxe, more substantial. This is cool. Very cool. Hmm. Very cool. All right, I'm getting lost. <sighs> very, very cool pen. Let's see what else we have. Mickey B Budney finds the twist from Pelican grip awkward. I've never used the twist, the Pelican twist. I would really like to. I never have. It's a pretty pen. I love the Pelican student pen too. Very, very cool. So I'm seeing a lot of AL love or all. How do you guys say it? I like, I like to say AL because I think when something's capitalized, you're supposed to say each individual letter. But by the way, when I say supposed to say, I mean me. That's how I say, because I don't like gatekeeping i don't like pronunciation uh police i get it so often in my comments wow because i mispronounce everything wow i'm sorry guys this just took my whole attention away wow this is gorgeous and you know what i'm thinking i mean i don't know these guys are friends right 
these guys are friends, I think. And where's the other one? Where'd I put it? Ah, huh, it's over here. I think I put it away too quickly. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? What kind of conversations have happening over here? Bleh or blue black? I think blue. I, I was thinking blue black when I reached for him, but now I'm thinking blue. That would be good. Now that's if I get to what Z28 converters, which I may. But I'll probably use the cartridges first because I'm going to want to film with these very, very soon. That's that's how I am. I'm going to leave this one out. It's really pretty. So let's look at this. Ooh, what's the grip going to look like? What's the grip going to look like, guys? Thanks for the likes, by the way. I see the thumbs up passing by on my graphics. I appreciate that. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That's cool. I, I don't like to use the word cool. It's not very descriptive. <laughs> I try not to, but sometimes you just, something is just cool. And this is, I would say it has a Ruby-esque quality, even though it's made of plastic, this bit. But the way the light captures it, it appears to be faceted. It's just so pretty almost like a blood red ruby if i can use that again that's been in my mind lately because um isabella stewart gardner had a collection of pigeon blood rubies and it was just her birthday on the 15th and i have a very close connection with the isabella stewart gardner museum i used to work there i met my wife there i think you guys know that so i've been thinking about it quite a bit so it's Things I think about are the sort of analogies that I'll make. But look at this. This sort of brushed red with this ruby. I think I like this one slightly more. It's cool. It's amazing. This, this though, too. I don't know. They're both pretty great. Look at that, huh? Which one do you like more? Let me know in the comments, especially if you're watching the replay. Which one do you like more, the blue or the red? The red really matches my Venice map, doesn't it? Really does. I'm trying to be careful with inks on my backdrops. I ruined a backdrop recently. My wood backdrop, I, I spilled some ink on it and I got to it right away. And you'd think I'd be able to just brush it off, but it soaked in and it just ruined it. So I was able to cut it up. So you'll see it again, but never in its full glory. Atomic Elf says they look better than the pictures. They do, right? They really come alive. Like Frampton, they come alive. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Guys, come on. I am excited. These are great. Thank you, Yos. Very, very kind of you. I'll be able to do some filming. And I can credit Yos for being so kind and sending these along with no strings, no editorial requirements, nothing. Love that. Lovely guy. The great Yost Apple Boom. We have another package, another package. Now this is where, whoops, this is where I would normally drag this out and make you wait until five minutes before the program's done. But this is a special edition of the Hemingway Jones live show. I should be moving in slow motion. There should be sentimental music playing. It's a very special edition of the Hemingway Jones show. Do you remember when they used to do that? When there used to be like a very special friends and there would be like some kind of big dramatic scene. I see a lot of love for Yost. Yeah, he's a great guy. I co-hosted his show a few times. Always a pleasure. He's a gentleman and he gets great guests. He, he probably gets some of the most interesting guests out there. 
in certainly informative. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's a Russian doll. Wrapped inside a wrap. You should see the pile of wrapping paper I have. Excuse me. To you. This probably deserves... It probably deserves an actual glass of Prosecco or something, but um, I don't drink a lot, so it went right to my head. It made me all sleepy. So I didn't want to drink any more. Wow, the wrapping job on this. Look at this beautiful wrapping job. How it comes down like a chevron. Really nice job. Okay. I'm going to try to open this like a gentleman. Although I am mindful of Jack Burton. Do you guys know Jack Burton? Big Trouble in Little China. When he, because I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to open this. He comes up against this Chinese painting and he's like, they have to get through it. I think I'm going to do a Jack Burton right now. I'm not going to say the line though. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> So we'll do some nice incisions here. It was a beautiful wrapping job. Wow. Wow, this is exciting. Look at this, guys. In in like a shoe shine box. I love it. Have you ever seen the old shoe shine? It would come in boxes like this, but smaller. Love it. Wow. Look at this. This is so exciting. This is so exciting because for years i have wanted one of these for years I, i've i've wanted it to exist and then it came out in the ebonite which was i think around 300 and some us dollars and that was a bit too dear and it wasn't quite a sport now this one i think is a fair price it's right around I think 150 US dollars seems like a fair price. I love this container. I love it. It reminds me of like saddle soap or something. Now, will I be able to open it? Because remember, I have no nails. And I'm trying to be careful because I'm a bit of a maniac when it comes to these things. And I'll dent it or something. Aha! He did it. Okay, I didn't want to dent it. I want to film with this later. Ready? Everyone ready? Drum roll. Ooh. Oh, and there's ink. It comes with ink. I'm so happy. That's awesome. Ooh, this is pretty. This is so pretty. Wow. Wow, guys. Thank you, Yos. This is so kind of you. This is awesome. About Caveco in a bunch of different languages. I'm learning Italian. Soon I'll be able to read it in Italian, if it's in Italian. Ooh, a sticker. That goes to my daughter. She loves stickers. The ink. Caveco. Tint. Very nice. I wonder what color this is. It doesn't say. What do you think? <sighs> wow. Ooh. Feels very luxe. It's pretty. It's really pretty, guys. It's a beautiful black and gold. And it has a nice weight to it. It just feels really nice. Ooh, ink view window. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm super excited. Ooh, this is one you can you can post away without any guilt. You can post away. You know what I'm thinking, right? What time is it? It's 8:35. We probably have enough time to ink it. We probably do. I'll probably have to use this footage, though, of what it looked like before. So I'm going to take some footage. I have to uh, be a 
I have to be good because I might need this later. Here's some nice footage for the video when I do the review because it may never look this clean, guys. Not in my hands. It may never look this clean. Wow. What a beautiful pen. Look at that. Look at the details. Look how shiny. Mm. Love it. Yost outdid himself. What a lovely guy. Thank you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put this in here. Because we don't want to mess up my Venice map. I may yet knock it over though. Oh, okay, cool. You know, it's funny. I thought I turned this to fill it, but this comes off, which is very cool. And I turn this. There it is. You can see the piston going down and up. Very cool. Sometimes it's good to take a look before you do it because you never know. You never know how something works. Ooh. Usually I do it more than once. But this time, I'm just going to let out a few drops. And since I don't have... Oh, wait, I do. I do have something. Um, I'm going to hold this in my hand. And I'm going to put the lid on here. Because I could see myself spilling that in a nanosecond. But I do have a very nice chamois for nibs right here. So we will clean this guy off in a very gentle way. Oh, look at that. It's like a, a shroud of Torin for nibs. It's pretty neat. Great, like a nib stamp. I quite like that. Okay, so now we're going to put this back on. Post it and write with it. Just make it look all aesthetic. Do you guys miss me? Should I get back in frame? Do you miss me or is it okay? Uh, I think you're okay with seeing the full thing. You probably get to see more of it this way. So, we got some Clairefontaine Puprite, which is my favorite paper for filming. Let's see how it does. The Caveco Sport. Ooh. Wow. Wow. It's very lush, guys. It's very wet and flowy. This is different. This sort of transcends the usual sport feeling. It feels very, very wet. Oops. keep my edge on the paper now a lot of that's me so I'm holding it way back and trying to make it where it the camera will pick it up and I think I'm not doing the pen any favors Yeah, see, that's fun. That's fun. See? Very, very flowy. Let 
Very nice. Very nice, guys. It feels different. It feels more lush. It feels a little more refined. It feels a bit more solid in your hand. It feels more precise. And I know that I didn't quite hit the edge of the nib properly there for a bit, but a lot of that's on me because I'm trying to write where the camera will stay in focus. And I'm not doing it any favors by doing that, but you can clearly see that it's, it writes very well. It flows amazingly well. Very, very nice. By the way, really nice blue. Really dark. Really dark blue. It's nice. It's got a lot of personality. I really like it. I really do. It's very, very nice. I think I would use the word exquisite. It just doesn't feel like a toy the way that the lighter plastic sports do. And I'm not necessarily saying that's bad because I feel like the plastic ones are great for throwing in your bag and having no weight. This has much more weight and much more presence. But I really do, I really do like it. And I imagine it's the same steel nib, but it just feels really nice. With all that extra ink flow. It's inky. You see this? Inky, guys. Love it. I love the wet pens. Let's do the signature test, shall we? Ah, oh, it's splendid. Splendid for signing your name. Absolutely splendid. What do you guys think? Do you like it as much as I do? This is fun. It's elegant. It's got some weight and substance to it. It's beautiful. The gold and the black in a sport with the ink view window feels so vintagey. And plus you can see the ink sloshing around, which I really like. Yes, it's really nice. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm I'm over the moon. I I can I can tell you honestly, it's better than I was expecting. It feels very substantial. And for the price, I think you're getting a lot of value here. The piston fill really elevates it. And I listened to the interview on Yo's channel about the um, process of developing this, how they had to create a, pin a piston fill mechanism to fit into such a small, short, petite pen and constantly shave off bits and maximize bits just to get it perfect. And they, they really did. They really, really did. Wow. 
Um, Ob says it looks very sleek. It does. It does look very, very sleek. And Jay Cortez says it looks like a classy corporate style Caveco. It does. It really does. This would be a great business pen. I would have no hesitation bringing this to work. It's, it just would look great on your desk. Easy to carry. I'm going to do some traveling in May. And I think I'll bring it. I'm going up to the Mount Washington Hotel. Where I filmed my last travel video. Oh wait, no, I went to Frontenac for that. The one before. Working on this new H, by the way. It's kind of like this. Like, haven't quite mastered it. It's the one my wife uses. Look, I have to think how hotel is spelled. Because I'm talking and writing at the same time. <sighs> my wife has a H like this. But she does it so elegantly. I don't even know how she does it. No, it's not that. That looks like two L's. I used to just kind of go. That's not bad either. Sometimes I like to bring everything from the bottom line. These are the rabbit holes I fall down. I start obsessing over letters. Pretty nice. Pretty beautiful. I'm really excited. It's very kind of Yost to send this. I really appreciate it. It's going to be a really nice video when I do the full review. And I'll probably put it up as soon as it's done. I'm starting to put more things up. I want to do, I want to do some stuff that's maybe not core channel stuff. And then kind of have the core videos because I am... I have no clue what does well and what doesn't do well. Half of the things I think are great, people shrug. And then some of the stuff that I think is not that great, people seem to love. So I'm now just going to share different things. And if I think of something and I'm passionate about it, like doing this unboxing, this unwrapping, I'm going to share it with you. And I definitely want to thank Yoast. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate you sending this along. It's brilliant. It's, it's impressive. I don't think it's able to be appreciated until it's in your hand. I've seen photos. Um, I saw the video on your channel, Yoast. But until I had it in my hand, I, I just I couldn't appreciate it. I, I couldn't realize the weight, the feel, the fit and finish, how shiny and beautiful the gold is. It's, it's really something when you get it in hand. So I'm very excited. This is where I drop in that Indiana Jones drop I do a lot where I go, yes, I realize it's power now. I know you've seen that in some of my videos. I would drop it right here because I didn't realize it. And now it, it's, it definitely ranks high on travel pens. It really does. So it's very, very good. So I'm seeing a lot of enthusiasm for me putting up some other videos, which I appreciate that. I will do that, you guys. I, I want to keep you all inspired. I want to keep you all interested, engaged, and writing, and thinking about writing, and thinking about writing in a different way. I want to always be original. Don't follow trends. I make trends. I don't follow trends. Now, I make trends, but they also seem to end here. So I make them here, and then they end here. <laughs> but that's okay. That's why it's our little corner of the, un of the universe. Our little corner of the universe and our little corner of the internet. I'm putting it all back together nicely. So excited. So I really want to thank Yost for sending these along. This was a blast. It was so much fun to come on live on a Saturday night with you all. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little different than what we normally do. I thought I'd be done in 20 minutes. I had no idea there were so many goodies in the bag. So the next time we'll see each other is Tuesday night. I have a live show coming up then with Vincenzo from Fountain Pen Therapy. Let's see what's going on in his world. That should be a lot of fun. 
And also, the Three Ink video is up. If you haven't seen it, please give it a watch. If you have seen it, go watch it again. It's really good. It gets better the second time. And if you haven't subscribed, and I know about half of you who watch this channel do not subscribe, please do. I'd love to get to know you. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, membership is available. Come on behind the scenes as well. We have a lot of fun. So thank you to everyone who's here. I love you all. Thank you for watching the replay if you're watching this after the fact. And a very special thanks to Yoast for making this possible. You're a lovely guy, and I really appreciate it. I can't wait to do a full review. So thank you all for watching. I promise, I promise, we will see each other again very, very soon. Tuesday nights, in fact. Further up the road. So take care, and thanks.